ending tonight on a poignant note, the end of an era. It was just three we weeks ago that the struggling and fledgling state of Chaz seceded from downtown Seattle, from the U.S. itself. A week later, after internal revolution, it became CHOP, but the new name didn't stop the turmoil within. After a series of killings, the world's youngest country also had the world's highest per capita murder rate. Sensing weakness, its enemies pounced. Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin, who praised CHOP just weeks ago, sent in police to re-annex the country back to the U.S., and now comes the difficult task of reintegrating its citizens into American life. Jason Rance has been tracking Chaz for us and CHOP from the very beginning. He joins us tonight. This is a, a kind of a powerful moment to see the fledgling nation disappear. It is. And, you know, I, I hate to break it to you, we were not greeted as liberators today. And it is kind of bizarre to figure out what we're going to do with these folks from CHOP because, you know, is, is it, are, are they refugees? I mean, we kick them out of their sovereign land with overwhelming yes. force via bicycle cops. And they did yes. put up a little bit of a fight with their fortified borders of old couches, which, by the way, not what they used to be, because those bike cops got through them very, very quickly. They must have been Ikea. So we're going to try to figure out what exactly do we do with these folks. I mean, we're talking about a whole bunch of 20-something imbecilic, progressive, white privileged dudes yes. who think that they basically don't have to work for a living. They can just turn to socialism and everything will be handed to them. Do we really even want them in Seattle? I think we should give them no. to Portland. You know, hunger really helps re-educate people. No one ever does that in our country. By the way, I'm just, I'm glad to see us win a war definitively for the first time in a long time. Good for Finally. us. This was a war we could win. Um, where are these refugees going to go? Are they going to continue to stew in their own filth on the streets of Seattle or are they going to move to Portland? Well, they're kind of looking for another home. There's some rumors that they're going to try to take up some new space outside of the West Precinct. So they're going from the East Police Precinct to the West Police Precinct. We don't know exactly who's going to be the leadership this time. Obviously, like a, a phoenix rising through the flames of a dumpster fire. Raz Simone came up to be a really big leader, and then he's kind of disappeared. So we don't know who's going to yeah. take the mantle and lead these, these lost souls to their next homeland. So do you think, what are the chances Raz Simone goes back to his real job, which was renting his apartment on Airbnb? His apartment's on Airbnb way, way, way better than living out on a tent in front of a police station yes. or next to a park. So, I mean, he maybe should go back to that and maybe pursue his rap career. I mean, I'm very curious because he's living on the streets now. He's a, a chop leader. I want to see those lyrics. I want to hear the, the soul come out, his story. He's got a story to tell, and I'm here to listen. He's the first world leader to emerge from the gig economy, and so... You know, history books on Fair that Fair point. One. Jason, great to see you tonight. Thank you for your tireless Good reporting from Chaz.